Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna unbox this Ender 3 3D printer. Before that, this video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial suppliers of electronic components in India with high quality products at a reasonable price. Check them out. Link is in the video description. These are all the parts which was in the box. The user manual, X axis right hand gantry, the C axis stepper motor, LCD display, the extruder and X axis gantry, power supply, power cord, the C axis lead screw, extruders, and the full body setup. The spool holder, the Z axis limit switch, a spatula, a USB with 8 gigabyte memory card, some nozzles, a nozzle cleaner, belt tightener, some tools and accessories, some screws and nuts, a belt and a white PLA. Start the build by fixing the aluminum extruders. Attach the LCD display to the downside of the printer. Fix the power supply to the aluminum frame. Tighten the Z-axis end stoppers to the frame. Fix the Z-axis stepper motors to the frame. Then Attach the lead screw to the coupling and tighten it. Screw in the extruder and the x-axis gantry. Take the belt through the x-axis carriage. Slide the hot end through the aluminum extruder. Then fix the belt in the grooves. Slide in the finished hot end carriage. Fix the remaining part of the frame and then tight it securely. Attach the LCD display, the limit switch, the Z axis stepper motor, the X axis limit switch, the extruder, the X axis stepper motor and finally connect the XT60 power connector to complete the build. Level the hotbed and the extruder using a sheet of paper to get high quality print. Insert the 8GB SD card to the 3D printer. Turn on the printer and select print from TF. After that, select the G code for printing. Before starting every print, the printer home or the axis to zero position. The Ender 3 has a print volume of 220 by 220 mm. The quality of prints from the Ender 3 3D printer is really great without any issues and with high perfection. This print took around 12 hours to print. For the first print right out from the box, without any fine tuning, this printer is amazing. This was the print which was done by two different PLA, the common PLA and the creative PLA and it turned out very good. And this lattice cube print have got some issues with the cooling so that it got messy. This was the torture test I have done so far with the printer. The quality is mind blowing. The printer has got easy to navigate LCD screen with a potentiometer for easily accessing the printer without any confusions on printing. The LCD display shows all the details on 3D printing like the temperature of the nozzle, the temperature of the heat bed, the fan speed, the position of all the axes, the flow rate, the elapsed time and the percentage of completion of the print. The printer has a flexible and removable heat bed to take out the printed parts. Moreover from the point of view, the Ender 3 is an amazing 3D printer under $200 price range. Also, without any fine tuning with the printer, the print quality is extremely good. The only downside which I am facing 
is a nozzle get clogged with the PLA and it will ruin the print sometimes. And this is because the printer has a board on extruder setup. Talking on materials used for printing, we can use PLA, ABS, flexible filament and also wood filament for printing. If you are a beginner in the 3D printing and looking for a printer within your price range, then the Ender 3 is the one you need to concern. This was the unboxing and review of the Ender 3 3D printer. Hope you like it. This is Senomodic signing out.